Kenoshita interspersed newsreel footage within the film in an attempt to relate the story of the film to the wider context of Japan's post-war difficulties. The film incorporates flashbacks provide context for the family's present-day misunderstandings. For example, the mother, Haruko, gets involved in the black market to provide food for the family, but her son Siichi only knows that the activity causes him embarrassment at school. The mother leaves the children with their uncle so that she can raise money working as a prostitute, but the uncle treats them cruelly and tells them that their mother is enjoying herself at the Atomy Hot Springs. The flashbacks also show how Haruko was abused by her male clients and was only able to keep going by reminding herself that she needed to do this for her children. Alexander Jacobi regarded the basic story of the mother and her selfish children to be more vivid than the wider context provided by the newsreels. Isolde Standish points out that the newsreels give credence to the subjective memories of the characters that are shown in the film's flashback scenes. For example, newsreel footage of American soldiers cavorting with Japanese women foreshadow a flashback scene depicting Haruko's decision to become a prostitute. According to film critic Donald Ritchie, a Japanese tragedy was one of the first post-war films to focus on Japanese mothers, as Mikio Nairius's repast was one of the first to focus on the plight of Japanese wives. Kinoshita won both the Mainichi Film Award and Blue Ribbon Award for Best Screenplay in 1954.